right. Do you want me to unwrap those things for you, Austin? What? Do you want me to unwrap those things for you? Okay. Okay, my name is Aki Miller, uh, Miller, and I am figurist. And today I am going to tell about technique of my passport. Um, first, I am going to tell you what is the pulp. Pulp, it is for uh, paper mache. It is just uh, paper and glue. And all. I do look at the camera every once in a while, okay? <laughs> okay? I try to make it a little bit softer. I think it is best. Before, before it is ready, you can put it in the mixture, so it will be so easy to use it. Because then otherwise you have to bring it here and do like what I do. It is fun. After when it, it is ready for me, then I have a glue. And you can use the, any glue. You paste, you can use it, you can do this kind of glue, any kind of glue, you can use it. So, when it is ready, then you put the glue on it. Then you start give a more massage. <laughs> sort of fun there. Like a dog. Like making yeah. bread. Yeah. She's needing it. Mm. <laughs> And depend of the, you have to try to see is it ready because when it is sticky, it means it is ready. If it's not sticky, you have to add it more glue. Ati, yeah. how did you come upon this this way to make this dough like? Yeah, I am. I am telling you. This no, is no. Who taught you, or did you th you think of it yourself? No, I did by myself. Yeah, I did by myself. No, I didn't. I, I, I try to, because I, in my work, I use a lot of the newspaper. So I 
one day I thought, let me to see how it works. So it's worked very good for me. So I use it for my all of artwork. So when it is ready now, no, I don't want to spend your time. So it is, I see it is not very sticky. So it means you have to put more uh, glue. Okay, now I show this, how I make it the uh, pulp. Okay. And how I use it for my artwork. You see how it is soft? more you give massage, it is more soft. Okay. So how I can use it in my canvas? I brought you two canvas. This one of my canvas, I make it ready. So I am going to show you how I make like this. Dry once you spread it on the canvas. Oh, if you put it in the outside, maybe in one day it is ready. Yeah. So let me prepare my stuff. Okay, you see this my canvas. This is, I have here, but just, I have one here, it is just ready and I put it everything. I use this one. Should we keep it in the fridge or something, Ati? You can put it outside, it's not necessary you put it in the fridge. You can put it there everywhere. I mean, that, that will yeah. stay moist yeah. like that? That will stay moist yeah. like that? You can put it there and only it must be a little bit, uh, put it water. I don't want to be dry, okay. you know. And it is ready for working. And I sometimes I make it and I keep it for, for one year, two years. <laughs> Yeah. It doesn't get any no. uh, mold or anything. No, no. Of course, if you put it in refrigerator, it will be for three years, <laughs> four years. Okay, <laughs> just is ready. I I put it uh, glue. It is ready. So I take some piece of that and I put here. See how it is soft? Yeah. You can use it. Mm -hmm.
see? Okay. This is not enough for me. It's because it is not ready. So I have this one. If you don't this one, so you can use Can use this one spoon. It just depends on you what you want to do. You want to be, if you want to be straight so you can use this and make it straight And another thing, you can, you don't want this, you want to have some line. Any kind of the line you can do. You can do like that. You can do what you want, you know. to see and look at that yeah. would, would you sometimes do the texture with a preconceived yeah. idea of what you're going to paint on there yeah. no it just depends you just on wait you. to see what happens for example right? here in my piece yeah. i use it in this way yes yes you see oh my goodness look at that yeah yeah. It, it makes the clouds look like there's yeah, a little like a yeah mountain. it's beautiful yeah. what do you want but she just had that in the center, and which really makes it so interesting. Beautiful. <laughs> yeah, this is, you can do what you want. It is depends on you, what you want to do. <clears throat> okay, after that, it is ready. So when you draw, uh, let it outside, if you put it this in the sun, in maybe in uh, two, three hours, it is ready. In the sun, it's dry very fast. But if you put it outside in the shade, maybe one day it's here. After, after it is dry, it will be like this. See? Just is ready. So, what do you want to do with this? This depends on the, what is your uh, sketch. Do you have a sketch? Generally, I make before I work in, start uh, making painting. I make five, six sketch, and then I try to find uh, which one I like it. So I brought some pieces, some my uh, or like this or like that, or like that. Depends on your uh, sketch, you know, the design, what did what you did design, what you want to do. But before that, you have to be careful. Uh, you have to know the size of your canvas. 
if your design be very big so it doesn't match in your canvas. So you have to know what are you doing. When it is ready, for example, I think it is it's okay for that. See? So there is two ways you can put the, your design on it. Or you dry, or you put this and uh, Use this one, and you put there, and you put your design there. You see? So you can design, see? And you can start with the pencil and design it on it if you want. I can do that. Okay, so I start putting the, my sketch on the It is very easy, it's not very difficult. Only you, you need to have a time and prepare everything for this work. Today it's very nice day. The weather is very nice. It doesn't look like we summer. <laughs> very nice. Okay.
You see? Just is ready. Yeah, a good drawing to follow. Yeah, so. See? Just is ready, you can put the color on it. Yes, I love the figure. That is so nice. <laughs> and, uh, but generally, I, before I put the color, I always, let me see, I bring my, some of my colors. Can you put oil color also? Yeah, you can put the acrylic, yeah. This is acrylic. I know, but can you put oil? Yeah, you yeah. can put the acrylic, you can put oil. And, okay. But uh, sometimes, uh, uh, because when you put the color, because this is a paper, uh, it takes the, uh, the water or oil of your color. Uh, you can use different things. You can put uh, some uh, glue, like uh, exactly this. You have your glue. You put again glue. To lighten the background? Yeah, because when you put the glue, so when you put the color, it doesn't take the oil or the, the water of your color. So you can put the glue and let it to dry, then you can use it. This is one technique I do it. Because sometimes when I put the oil, uh, take all the, the oil of my uh, color. So. I need to put two times or three times to bring the color, you know. So, but generally I put the, the glue so it, it, it doesn't take the, the water when you use the uh, acrylic and also oil, uh, this technique I use it. Okay, but generally I before to, do, to painting, Today I am using the acrylic. Yeah. Okay, let me take this. I don't want to make a mess. Generally, when I want to uh, start the painting, first I try to put the, with the acrylic, the first the lines.
it is very easy because there is the just before you put the the line but in this way you can make it easy for put it the another color Do you have any question? No? Then uh, later you can put the detail of your painting. But in this way you can know where is your line. Oil or uh, acrylic? What kind or of? Do, I, I don't. I don't use either. I I'm mostly a watercolorist. I have painted in oil though too. Oh, do you use the acrylic? Pardon? Do you use acrylic or oil? No, I usually. Uh, I usually use. I'm right now. I'm painting in watercolor mostly. Watercolor. But I love How to about see you? this. I take photographs and, and look at all this beautiful <laughs> painting. Okay. Do you want I put the color on it? Or yes. not? Yes. Do you want? Yes. Okay. Oh. So do you know the most important color uh, it is blue? It is the uh, and uh, red, white, black. And the yellow. This is the original color. It's in there. <laughs> only used acrylic when I've done murals on walls. That's when I've used acrylic. <laughs> Better than that, I haven't painted with acrylic. You've done murals in your house? Well, I did in my house and in my grandchildren's rooms and things like that. I've done murals. I mean, it's been a while. <laughs> I had a bow window in the house that I moved from uh, 
that overlooked the pond, so I had water scenes painted in the bow window. <laughs> Put a radio and nice music. That, that's that's true. a lot. It's awfully quiet in here, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> we could maybe hum I a always, little bit. Or I always put in nice music that yeah, all that. I, that's, a lot. I think that's important. Yeah. Can do I use the white color, a little bit red, with the skin color. I'm getting a nice flesh color there, I think. <laughs> When you use your uh, painting, uh, when you put the first the line, so it will be easy to know where is the, the line of your uh, sketch. Uh, otherwise, if you don't put the black uh, or color, so sometimes you mistake uh, where is the lines. But in this way, so you, it will be easy for you to know. Background in this one. Have you done that in a blender? Was that put into a blender, the, the paper and paste? Yeah. No, you just... the, in the blender, it will be the best because then you don't need to give massage. <laughs> that is ready, you know. The blender helps you to make it very soft, very you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sometimes, yeah. Sometimes I, uh, I, I use blender. Well, I just see here in your notes yeah. that you had suggested that. Yeah. So you don't need to use your time and give a massage for dinner, uh, just is ready. Uh, when you use the acrylic, 
uh, generally you have to use two times because when you use the one time it takes all the water and color then in the second time when you use the the color it show the really the good color and the, in the first time no it takes all the water the everything coat, yeah. yeah so the second coat is after it dries or now it's a yeah, because after that dry, you can use it, put the second color. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so what color do you like to put? <laughs> I, I think I can put it the blue. I think the blue is nice color. And also in my uh, note I give it to you, there is two kinds of texture. I didn't talk about that. Some texture, it is soft. This kind of the uh, paper I use, this is a soft. Sometimes I use the uh, rough uh, texture. It depends on what kind of work are you doing. Some, some part of the painting I do, uh, I use uh, sand also, or make it uh, uh, the paper not make it too much soft, make it a little bit uh, grainy, 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 yeah, yeah. grainy. And depend of your painting um, I used a uh, painting uh, I it was about the New York I used it a lot of the uh, sand for that to show it is rough painting. And also another thing is very important and the background of your painting. What you want to do? What color are you going to put this part of the body? That is very important also. And another thing it is very important, uh, you have to know about the the light, what part of the light comes to your painting. It comes from this way or come from this way. And you have to know which part it will be dark, some which part to be light. If the the light come, come from this way, so it means means 
this part it will be lighter than this part so I have to put more uh, color this part but that is very very important you know about that I love the color of the dried paper mache I think that's a beautiful color yeah. <laughs> background right there. Yeah. Yeah. And when it shows through, it's so beautiful, no? Yeah. Huh? When it's showing the background through the color, yeah. it show, it's very beautiful. This is the first color. Then, then second time when you put, really it show the color. Okay, for this part, what color do you like? The red. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's nice color. Okay. What color do you like for the pants? Mm, yellow. Yellow? Oh my goodness. That has been very colorful today. <laughs> <laughs> I think I would have said black. <laughs> yeah. I think it is black is better than the Yellow. Okay. What do you think? <laughs> okay. I, think I love color, that's it. <laughs> Where did you get your idea for all these beautiful 
figure drawings. Was that purely, do you have some photographs or was it purely what you were thinking? <laughs> oh, generally I make a lot of sketch, you know, and, and also I have a figurine at home. Oh, okay. Sometimes I, you can yeah, and make it. Bend that any way yeah. you want. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> It's very, really, very easy to, because I am a figurist, I use a lot of figure. I like movement. Mm -hmm. It is very nice. And sometimes I uh, look at the magazine also sometimes, I, f I find some nice uh, figure. I make a sketch. Yeah. Yes. Always trying to find inspiration. <laughs> you see, when the, when the first time I put the color, they take the water, everything it is in the color or oil. And the second time when you use it, it show better than before. So I, I try to make the color, uh, the, or the light is come from this part. Mm -hmm. So I, I make it, this part darker than the other side. What do you use all the cardboard for? What? What do you use all this cardboard for? Oh, I, I brought here if because she told me maybe they come 10 person. So I brought some of this if somebody want to use the dough or use oh, the... Oh, they want to yeah, try. Yeah. If somebody want to try it. Okay. Let me see. Oh, for example, I put this some. And, and uh, it is very important when you painting um, in the background uh, of the, your painting, it is important. Uh, they show the uh, part of the, uh, where is your uh, figure? Is it in the, you know, like a, uh, how can I explain to you? Uh, you, ha you can give some dip in your, uh, in your painting. For example, uh, let me show. Sometimes I use a color in the back. For example. So there's more depth to it? Yeah. Or sometimes you put the, 
You give a perspective. This is very important for, to your color, because in the background of your painting, you have to show uh, uh, the perspective of something. Uh, there is a house, building, uh, uh, some some kind of color, because in, in this case, you don't see anything in your uh, painting, you know. So you have to give something to show the uh, it's sometimes perspective of something in the deep of some uh, view or something. You have to do something, otherwise your painting it will be very yeah. flat. Yeah. Some trees in the background. And uh, for example, uh, sometimes I use, for example, around the hair or around the head of the, my painting, I put some color, for example. You have to give me something uh, to, let me see, for example. In the background of your painting, it is very important. For example, I put the For example, I put the white. You have to create something, you know. It is because you're an artist, you can do what you want. That's true. This is <laughs> important. But you have to show something uh, you like it, you know. Examples. You give you something like that. You That's see, nice. they give you something. You know, not only to be. That really yeah. does make my head stand out. So. Or give you some, for example, you. Divided in two parts, for example. For example, you divided two parts. You can put the disc. So, uh, one color here, another color there. You have to play with your painting.
Okay, sometimes um, I lose, let me see, uh, in the background of my painting, let, let me see some color here for the light. And, uh, for example, let me see. Um, uh, Sometimes I put this piece of the white or another color in my painting. Sometimes I put, uh, uh, for example, I put something. You have to play with, the, with your painting, you know. <clears throat> So I, I try to put this way. It depends on you what you want. How you want to show the simplicity of your figure on that textured background. The results are just beautiful. I like oh, that. thank you. Yeah, if you work on it, it's look better and better. The second time when you put